My good friends Glenn Humplick and Phil Giroux here, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight on the show because we recently decided that having fun is a good thing. <laughs> In fact, we recently had a lot of fun with some old people because yep. we like old, old people. <laughs> How many years have you been married? 51, almost 50, 50 and a half years. You worked at a television factory after the war. I worked in engineering at Hoffman, and she worked on the assembly line. I soldered the wires to the connections and, and, and the resistors and the condensers and all of the various parts on the little, there would be lugs. You soldered the lugs? And, and I soldered the wires onto the lugs. Solder? Mm-hmm, solder. Soldering is... Is, is exactly what is that. Now that's, that's, uh... Soldering is where you actually uh, attach two pieces of metal together okay. and you want them to stay permanently together so that so electricity like, can flow from like a one bolt, piece then. to... You take well, a bolt and you... Like a, like a nut and a bolt. And no, that, just, a, a, nut, a nut and a bolt is ties kind, two kind pieces... Kind of like a nut and a bolt where you have a, like, uh, have a, let, a, let like me, a plank let, of metal... Well, that's, a, that's, a, a, that's the right idea except... So you drill a hole in it, and then no, you no, put no, the no. bolt through, and you, you no, sort of... No. You it's take, like a clasp, is it? You no, take a, no, 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 no. You, know you, you have, take two pieces of metal... You, two metal. And you, and and you, you take me, a bolt, glue, I guess? No, you glue them like together. A, like a, you glue them together, and solder is the glue. If you were to take, um, for instance, say, a car door, right. and attach it to a car with a series of bolts through hinges, would that be considered soldering? No, they're, they're both metal. The car's metal, and the, and the thing yeah, is metal. Yeah, but there's no electricity involved. Yeah. If you don't involve electricity, you don't need solder. Right. When you try to get electricity to go from one wire, from one piece of metal to another piece of you metal... Send electricity you send from electricity from a wire to a wire. So, for instance, if you had a power drill that was plugged into the wall, uh, you drill the hole in both metal objects. Because you're using electricity, then that is considered to be soldering. We're a long way off. <laughs> what is it again? You keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. It would again. be about 10 Now, we know what that's like around here, huh? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mike! Ah! Uh, uh, we know what it's like down here, huh? <laughs> Attaching metal together can be done many ways. Soldering is only one. And you have not described soldering.
This is my bookshelf. When I was eight years old, I used to keep my books inside of it. I kept it in my room. My mommy would come in my room, and she'd read me stories from the books that were in my bookshelf. And I told her that when I turned 28 years old, I was going to carry this bookshelf across the Golden Gate Bridge. And then Daddy came in the room, and Daddy said, you're stupid. You're stupid. You can't carry the bookshelf across the Golden Gate Bridge. He called me a stupid And I said, yeah, I'm not a stupid Daddy, I'm going to do it, Daddy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to carry the bookshelf across the Golden Gate Bridge because I'm not stupid. My mommy is waiting for me to bring it to her in San Francisco. She wants me to cross the Golden Gate Bridge with it. But along the way, we've encountered many adventures. One of the adventures, of course, being these sheep. Do you like my bookshelf? 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 I'm going to make my mommy proud. I'm going to carry the bookshelf across the bridge. She's... I'm going to make... <laughs> my daddy used to laugh. He said to everybody on my hockey team that I was going to carry a bookshelf across the Golden Gate Bridge, and then he laughed at me like I was stupid. I'm not a stupid dummy. I'm a smart boy, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to make mommy proud. Make mommy proud. I'm going to prove daddy... <laughs> Bookshelf. I'm going to make you happy. I'm here to carry this bookshelf across the bridge for my mother on the other side. You can go ahead and do that, but uh, you can't film here. If he turns his camera off, can I, can no. I bring the bookshelf to my I'm going to take him off the bridge because I don't want to be coming back here again. Thank you for the understanding. You know, you know, Glenn, I'm a little bit angry because I carried my bookshelf all, all the way across the Golden Gate Bridge, and my mom promised that she'd be there, and she wasn't even there waiting for me, and, uh, and uh, I'm a little bit angry, and I'm going to call my mom right now. Oh. I'm going to ask my mom, mommy, why she wasn't there at the... Uh... You ask her why she wasn't there. Hello? M Mom, it's Tom. Yeah, hi. Where were you, Mom? Where was I when? <laughs> where were you? You said you were going to be there. Be where? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I wish I did. You read me stories from the books that were on the bookshelf. And I brought the bookshelf to you, and where were you? Oh, wasn't I there? <laughs> And Daddy, he called me a stupid No, he would not. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I'm not sure why he didn't, but he did. Mommy. I'm going into the shopping mall to do some shopping. I'm probably going to uh, purchase this toothbrush. Okay. This is a good brush for my teeth. You have a little putter range set up. A patange, is it called? Huh? It, a putter range. Range, right here. Is it a putter range? Just putting green. Putting green. Mm -hmm. a, right. a patine, is it called? Putting green. Yeah. Yeah, they're dirty. You need to brush every day. Yeah. You, you want to buy that brush? Yeah. Okay. Putter? Right. Putter. Just putter. Just Put P-U-T-T-E-R. Putter? Right. Putter. Right. Like, like putter around? Right. Putter. Right. Like a putter. Right. Putter. Like a putter. Putter. You're looking too close to me. What's you that? Can't... You have to stand back because I can't see you that close. Oh, okay. I, I have bad eyesight. Okay, well, I do too. You enjoying the sun? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a rare item. Do you ever look into the sun? No, no. Watch, I'm going to look directly at it. Ah! See? No, no. Uh, What's that? Not here. No? Not here, no. It's against the law to brush your teeth in here. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. Outside, the law says you can't do it in here. Outside. Oh, there's a, you can't brush your teeth no, inside? No, not inside. Oh. So I can't use your mirror just for a second just to go... No. Oh. 
Oh, can I just look at my teeth? I want to see what. Sorry, you have to go outside with that. Are you, are you buying a hot dog? Yes. Yeah. Looks tasty. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you buy? What's that? You buy? Sorry. Like you to and allow anybody else to play the piano. Slide over a little. We're in the shopping mall. Yeah. Shopping mall. Okay, that's enough. Now I gotta go keep working. What's that? That's enough. I have to keep shopping mall. Good for you. You gotta keep working. You're picking your nose. <laughs> I caught you. I caught you. Yeah. <laughs> I caught you. It's okay. Shopping mall. That's enough, that's enough. We're in the shopping mall. We're in the shopping mall. I was just showing him a song. That's all. Oh, no, I stopped. I think you have to leave. Okay. What's that? Would you please leave? Leave the shopping mall. Yeah. Didn't want to cause a problem. And sorry about that. <laughs> I'm Charles in charge. <laughs> Brenda. Yes. The refrigerator door is broken. The hinges? No. The door. Uh. What? What the <laughs> Where are those guys going? Oh. <laughs> Quick, they're coming! Get the kittens, get the bag, we're going to the river! Hurry! <laughs> I'm Charles in charge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. That's actually a new character that we're in the midst of, of working on. <laughs> As we all know, smoking is really cool. Cool kids smoke. You can even tell that I have sort of a cooler voice when I have a cigarette in my mouth. Listen to me, I sound like Clark Gable, for f***'s sakes. This right here is what we call a space-age mobile smoker's environment. It's an invention I've come up with. This enables me as a smoker to go in places where I'm normally not allowed to go. Restaurants, bars, hotels. Hey, don't hit me. Don't hit me. For crying out loud, don't hit me. Then I did to smoke. Oh, no, it's okay. I, I've got the Sansi. I'm sorry? I've got the Sansi. Yeah, the space-age mobile smoker's environment, so it won't bother anyone. Smoking in your restaurant? No, you're not. I got a Sam C. Can you smoke in here? No. Really? No smoking. Oh, okay. I just wanted to order a fish, some fish. Hey, mister, what's going on here? It's a space age mobile smokers environment. Did you ask me if I let you come into this is my property? Oh, okay, can I ask? No, sir, sir. Go call the police. No, this is a space age mobile. This is my, my restaurant. You can't go around my place. I call police, okay? Father, tell me the police is I just wanted to order a sandwich. He's, he's locking us in the restaurant because he doesn't want us in the restaurant. Here. Get out, get out here. Get out of my place. You can't get out here. This is my restaurant. How can, how can you do that? Yeah, call police. Yeah, call police. Come here. Sir, I just, to, I just wanted to get a fish sandwich. So I, could... I don't care. You want to get fish sandwich? You got your picture. You bring the box in. You know you're not allowed to smoke okay. in restaurants? No, you know how you're not allowed to smoke? You were smoking in my restaurant. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was you were smoking no, in my restaurant. I was smoking... Oh, that's a nice koi pond. Yeah. Sir, I was in my Space Age mobile smoker's environment. I thought I was allowed to smoke in here. What... This is personal property. I... This is a restaurant. I just want to get... You cannot do that. I just... So you just want to get the... Oh, like... I just want to get a fish no. plate. Let me... Let me uh, I'm going to call your company, and my attorney is going to talk to you guys. And what's your name? Tom. Tom who? Green. Actually, my name's Doug Phillips. 
I was joking. It's not real. We're just trying to say, you know how you can't smoke in restaurants? My friend, are those... have a nice day. Okay. Please. Are those koi or are they goldfish? I'm sorry. I'm gonna, we're going to go. And I showed that piece to someone before the show, and it seemed like they didn't really get what we were trying to do. No, no. No, no. See, with two-minute porridge, we were attempting to do without such tired, uninspired tricks, such as <laughs> plot and narrative, uh, which I have always felt were strictly ornamental. By not imposing any dialogue, we suggested the silence of time itself. The costume I was wearing is a direct reflection of the id, what Friedrich Nietzsche called the Superman. <laughs> and of course, the cherry on this little Sunday being the bowl of porridge. The bowl of porridge. Referring to how film, and indeed all the arts, feed and sustain the very soul of man. Here's another tasty treat for you to enjoy. Good night.
This 